I'm looking forward to, again, less transactions, Mm -hmm. more lenders and agents working harder because there's less work for them to do to make their money to, uh, to, to benefit the investor. And, and this, so I tried to start with all the, the puppies and rainbow stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's like a dark evil cloud of, of uh, Mr. Burns from the Simpsons now. And I'm going to say, here's how we benefit. Yeah, you go. It sucks to say, I, I'm sorry. We're spending hours of our life every week trying to convince people to get on the property ladder. Look how you'll benefit to be on the property ladder. So if it's harder to buy a house and more people need to rent, what happens to rents? On the properties that we own, it sucks so much to own real estate that we're now going to have to make more money because it's harder to buy houses with high interest rates. If people have been listening, I don't feel horrible because if people have been listening for, you've been doing this for over five years, right? Like getting this information out there. We're spending all this time to try to get people into the position where it's like you could have a shirt. Yeah. I used inflation to get rich. Ask me how. Right. (laughs) This is one of those times where that's happening. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, when I look at this from the macro picture, and, and you know, that's kind of where I start with everything. But when we talk macro housing, I think a lot of people got it wrong. How many times did you hear three or four years ago that if interest rates go up 1%, prices have to fall 10%? I mean, me, Kevin was saying this forever, and he wasn't the only one. Well, guess what? Rates are up 500 basis points, and prices aren't down 50%. People don't realize that it impacts transactions, hence the crash in transactions of 40%. I went on record August 3rd of this month saying that I think transactions for the month, which will be reported in September, will break below 4 million. So again, higher rates mean less transactions. Now, could higher rates eventually impact price? Absolutely. But what people don't realize is housing is not immediate. It's not a shirt at the store. It's not new shoes or whatever. Right? These are where people live. It's their home. So they 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 hold on, right? So 